day 29 last two days. This video is about truly celebrating all those incredible things that I have done in this 30 day challenge and I'm going to force myself to celebrate them. I'm often looking into the future and not stopping and celebrating what I've already achieved. In writing down and looking back through all my videos everything that I've done over the last couple months is quite a lot and it's a big a big big achievement. And that surprised me, really. I thought that on my trip I hadn't really achieved very much, I hadn't done the work that I thought I'd do, and I wasn't giving myself credit. I was being really hard on myself, to be honest. I quit my part-time job. Like, that's huge! I left the job that was going to give me my sustainable income, and I had to trust that I'd figure it out. I did my first interview on camera. One of my dreams is to create a kind of video show about technology and how people use it to enhance their lives. And I managed to do my first little interview and I have to figure out where I'm going to take that and where I'm going to put it. But it was a big achievement to actually just do it in a coffee shop and, and get over the kind of planning stage and into the action stage. Running. I have managed in the last couple of months to go from not running at all to running on air on some crazy treadmill through to being able to get up to nine minutes and now the other day I ran a 25 minute run and I did it three times last week. I lost what I who I call my British grandma, uh, an old neighbor of mine who was beautiful and one of the most caring thoughtful women I've I've really ever met and she passed away while I was away and saying goodbye to her was super sad but also a big achievement for me I think um, kind of accepting that I can't be everywhere at once and that it's okay that I had to say goodbye to her a few weeks before she actually passed. Losing almost 15 pounds in the last like four or five months in order to be able to be eligible for IVF. And that's huge for me. I feel so much better for it and feel healthier. And that's, that's the main thing for me. And I'm super proud that I've been able to do that. Accepting and telling the world about my apparent infertility and going through with this whole IVF thing, it's absolutely terrifying to me to be telling this story, to, accept that people are going to poke and prod me in super invasive ways and then I'm just going to be kind of part of it and lose a bit of that control. And I even signed up for some guitar lessons because I am absolutely determined that I will finally learn the guitar after having one for 10 years so that I can sing and accompany myself to speak in front of 2,800 people in a robot box and tell my story about stepping out of my box. That was an incredible experience and one that I won't forget. I flew across the world and took my impossible head on. I want to be an independent, uh, location independent really, entrepreneur, social entrepreneur, and going for a six and a half week trip without my husband to Canada to visit family but also do all these other incredible things was a big step for me and there's a lot that I learned about that process which I'll write up and maybe do a video about another time but it was a big step to actually just go and do it instead of just talk about it. And lastly, I successfully posted 30 videos. Yay! Woot woot woot! Okay, as of tomorrow or as of the next video I will have posted 30. But that's a huge achievement and I beat myself up a bit because I missed a few days here and there. My 30 days turned in, you know, ended up being over 60 days and I can kind of beat myself up and go around in circles. But the fact is I spoke on camera for 30 days and a big part of this challenge for me was about starting to feel comfortable talking on camera and I've successfully achieved that. Woot woot! So I'm super chuffed about that and even if none of the other things happened, I've definitely achieved that, which was my ultimate aim.